Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. On tonight's video I have a piece of sycamore and I'm going to make a little coloured bud vase. Now I did say little and the blank that I have on there is a little bit big so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to round then I'm going to chop a section off which out of that section I'll probably make a little potpourri pot out of it as well. So, on with the bud vase. So that's the Easy Woods mid-size finisher there. I'm just working away, getting to round. So the colours that I'm going to be using tonight, they are Stardust. Now, I've used these before, uh, a few times to be fair, but typically I put them in uh, the airbrush. This time I'm going to try something a little bit different and see how it works out. There was the Easy Woods mid-size rougher there, just creating a tenon and coming in with the detailer to put the dovetail on so when I spin it round it will be accepted into the jaws. So there we are, spun round. And I'm now just working on on the stem for the bud vase. And there we are, just drilling out the uh, the centre, so you can put your little flowers in. So now I'm just slowly, steadily, working away to that hole, just accentuating it a little bit, and then I'll bring the tool rest back up. And there we go, that's the uh, tail stop brought back up and locked in place. So now I can just work on defining that shape a little bit better. So there we go, near enough, uh, near enough sorted for the top part, and then we will start working on the uh, on the body. Just need to remove a little bit of material first. There we go, just a few more, a few more final passes. So 
So I did put a, uh, a no go line in there, but uh, when I looked at the proportion of it, it was uh, it come up a little bit short. Um, so I ignored it and did a bit of a design change at the last minute. So there's the Easy Woods parting tool. Just going to give myself a little bit of clearance, a little bit of room, so I can shape the bottom. Get rid of that bit first, though, eh? And there we go, and now on to sanding. And um, this is cling spore abrasives, sanding from 120 grit up to 600. So like I say, I'm gonna put some paint on this. Now with the amp machine pre-thin cellular sanding sealer, I put a good couple of coats on this because the, uh, the sycamore was very dry and it was a little bit thirsty as well, so. Oops, got that one then. And this is the Hampshire Sheen uh, Professional Black Gloss Lacquer. This is the first coat. I gave it two. Just to make sure it was... Uh, totally covered and there we go and these are the stardust paints this is they're multicolored this is a green and uh, purple or a green and pink which looks more purple and like I say normally I would use the airbrush but on this occasion I thought I would go with the uh, the dabbing sponge method So there we are folks, I hope you like this one and uh, please, if you would be so kind, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know whether you like the colour or not and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.